Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, one thing I've noticed when um, I, as a good YouTuber, analyse the traffic to my channel is that I get a lot more hits sometimes on haul videos than I do on carefully well put together lessons. So I've decided to give my hauls, because as you'll know, most things in my channel are part of a series, which is also part of a playlist. Halls aren't, they just are. So I've decided I'm going to call them Doctor's Orders because that's about the only shit Doctor related pun I haven't used yet. And I want to tell you about one right now. This is an order I placed with the Society for All Artists um, in the UK, which are a society but also means to buying cheap stuff. And I just got a haul that arrived today. <laughs> I'm being really good. I'm trying really hard, as a friend earlier on said, oh, you've received a large package. I'm trying really hard not to make package-related innuendo. However, I shall take you through what's in my package. First of all, I can't fit the bloody thing under the tripod. I hope you can read upside down. Pack of 20 quarter imperial sheets of Milford. So quarter imperial is about that big. Um, that's it sideways. I've just decided that buying full Imperial is great when you've got the storage space, but the great thing with the Society for All Artists is you can buy quarter Imperial for the same price as full Imperial. So if you whatever you pay for four sheets of quarter or two sheets of half is what you pay for one sheet of full, which I don't think you can really argue with. I think that's pretty good value. I also got... Four quarter imperial sheets of Waterford in the heaviest weight they do, which is £300. And it's really nice when you get it as four quarters, because you still get, I don't know if you can see that, you still get the deckel edge on two sides, and then you've got two cut sides, exactly like if you buy it yourself. So I really like the fact that I can do that. Those are specifically for some commissions that I've been asked to do, and they won't appear on my channel, because when I get commissioned to do something, I don't film it. Uh, mainly because I just feel a bit rude charging people basically twice. Feels a bit wrong to me, so I don't do it. Um, I've got a couple of paints as well. Let me fish around in here. See if I can actually get them out. I'm sorry, I'm in a ridiculously giggly mood. Yellow Titanate from Windsor & Newton. That is from the Desert set, which was the... Not the one they'd just done, the Twilight set, but the limited edition set before that, which was PBR24, which is um, the same pigment as um, Naples Yellow Deep. So you can get the same pigment in Naples Yellow. And you know what? I'm feeling uncommonly generous. Let's see how different it is from Naples Yellow Deep. I'm literally taking this straight out of the box as I'm talking to you, so not at all set up. That, to me, looks exactly the same as Naples Yellow Deep, so I will have to do a side-by-side -side comparison, but I'm fairly certain Windsor & Newton have just kind of robbed us by claiming it was a different paint when all along it was the same. And interestingly, they used to sell a yellow nickel titanate until about 11 years ago then they stopped so I think they just got rid of old stock by repackaging it cheeky buggers and I also got some serpentinite genuine from Daniel Smith which I'll also show you and the rationale for that was that serpentinite is a favorite mineral of mine I wear it a lot as jewelry and I thought it would be interesting to compare with the So a really dry brush here. It's a really gorgeous green. Isn't that pretty? Wonderful grass green. Um, I, yeah, I wear it a lot, mostly in the form of what they sell as Atlantisite, which is a mixture of this and Sticktite, which is a wonderful purple. And um, as I always maintain, when you're looking at what paints look good together, look at colours you find together in nature. And green and purple is a very, very common combination. So there's that. Um, did 
the Society for All Artists send me anything good? Uh, no, I think they did not send me any prezzies. Let's see what they sent. They sent me a Daniel Smith watercolour sticks leaflet bin. And they sent me a Artist of the Year competition, which I won't be entering. Um, what Society for All Artists do have, actually, that might be of value to people is... Um, you can join them for a fairly reasonable fee. And they had a special offer on, which unfortunately I'm too late to share with you. Which was that if you joined them before the end of February, you could get a Schmincke trial set of six tubes for free which I promptly then joined them just to get that. I wouldn't normally bother mem being a member. The reason that the membership is worth it, though, is that you get a um, discount. <laughs> Why else does anyone become a member of anything? You get a discount. That makes it all worthwhile, ladies and gentlemen. So... Sorry, I'm just labelling my little half pan, because I'll... Put my serpentinite in to dry while I keep talking to you. Otherwise, at six minutes, it's a very short video. I just also want to let you know something I'm working on at the moment is a uh, reference library of not just all the pigments that each ma major manufacturer makes into paints, but also cross-referencing which is kind of an expansion of something I started a long time ago and promptly gave up on because no one was really using it and that was to take things like tutorials that people like Lindsay the Frugal Crafter and Peter Sheila and people like that were doing and translating the paints they were using into the same pigment in other major brands and I'm going to expand that and have this kind of searchable database come in quite soon it's probably going to be in a reasonably embryonic form at first and then over time you will be able to uh, search it in all sorts of ways and it will be sorted by pigment and paint and manufacturer so you'll be able to really kind of dig around which I think will make it actually usable. So there we go, two new colours to add to my collection which I'm really happy about. I've actually now got, as of last night, all of the Windsor and Newton Desert and Twilight sets. Uh, not all arrived yet, some are still on order, but as soon as I do have them, I will be doing a video on them and how you can mimic them. So if you really, really like a particular colour and you want to try and get hold of it, even though Windsor and Newton have discontinued it because it was limited edition, it will give you a way to get hold of it. Um, my other little parish notice while I'm here is the prize draws for the um, Spectrum Noir warm grey and green sets I am drawing on the 1st of March. So if you haven't already entered, up there in the iCards, click the thingy and go over to the, the relevant video and just post and say which one you want to win and why you want to win it. And all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to my channel and my website. And that you like and th thumbs up that video. And that's it. And if you want to win the set number two of the Tim Holtz Distress Crayons. Up there now. Drawing it in a, maybe two weeks time I think with that one. Because we haven't had many entrants. And all you have to do is say again why you want them and where in the world you are. Because I'm just curious as to where people kind of come from when they visit. And I will ship it off to somebody. Possibly with some free goodies added. Um, because I'm nice like that. <laughs> and um, feeling uncommonly generous. Must be because it's... I'll, try, I'll tell you why I'm a bit hyperactive, ladies and gentlemen. It's because we had the most horrendous storm here last night. It wasn't a named storm, or it might have been the arse end of Storm Doris that's just gone through the UK. But it was horrific, horrific rain all night. So I've been awake most of the bloody night. I got drenched on the way to work. I got drenched on the way home. And I'm just generally pissed off with the world right now. So it's being released in the form of finding everything hysterically funny. And... 
It probably sounds to the uninitiated like I'm drunk or something, but I can assure you I have been teetotal seven years. And if I was actually in Alcoholics Anonymous, I'd have some kind of chip thing to show for it, but I never used them. I just managed to stop because the doctors said, well, if you need to take this medication, if you drink alcohol with it, you're going to die. So very easy to stop drinking when that's the choice. Die or die. Um, thank you all very much and good evening.